Hello, hello. Let me change my background. There you go. Hello, how are you, Gustavo? How are you, Eduardo? Hello. How are you today? All fine for me. <laughs> Everything is, is doing fine. Very good. So thank you very much for being here, for being on time as always. It is always a pleasure to come and serve you. Today it's our class number 14. We are just about to finish with this process, I hope you have advanced a lot on the platform. Have you had the opportunity to advance on the platform? Or did um, you finish already? Let me know. Uh -huh. Let me see. English corporate. <laughs> let me see. I don't remember. This is the week four. Yes, yes. but you are. Uh, okay. You are supposed and to tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow are you going to to do the week four? Okay, so uh, remember that we need to finish with everything. Si pueden terminar este fin de semana, that will be perfect because we are going to finish with the topics uh, during this week. Uh, well, we finish with the topics on Monday, and on on Tuesday we have a short evaluation. And we're going to finish the module on Tuesday. So okay. that's if you can. Thank you, sweetie. If we can advance on uh, on that, that would be perfect. <laughs> thank you. Go with your daddy. <laughs> thank you. Sorry, I had a visitor <laughs> right here. Yes. Okay. Invitándome un vaso de Good. So remember, if you can finish with everything uh, on the platform on the weekend, we can check on Monday and on Tuesday, we can finish with the evaluations. That's what we're going to be doing during this week. Okay, because on, on the weekend, you are going to be, I think you can be done with everything. We can finish everything during the weekend. So yesterday we were talking about what? What do you remember from yesterday, my dear students? I have Eduardo now, Mario, Elmer, Hazel. Hey, Hazel, nice to see you. Luis and Mr. Gustavo. Thank you. Nos alegra verla, Hazel. Hey, la estábamos extrañando un montón. Aquí Angélica andaba reinando aquí entre todos los chicos. Y hoy no ha venido Angélica, se turnan. Me anima. Y ahí va a disculpar que viera que mal ha estado el internet acá. I imagine, Pero, yeah, it's because uh, of the weather. Uh, es el clima. Uh, el, el clima. El clima y tío. Sorry, sorry if you work at, at, at that company. But yeah, it's very bad. Well, so we were talking about what? ¿De qué estuvimos hablando ayer, chicos? A ver. Uh -huh. Talking about, there we go, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it was like, yes, no, yes, no, I was recording, I was not <laughs> recording, it's a problem. Okay, so we were talking about sports and abilities, right, we were talking about different sports, different abilities, and we were also sharing different sentences that you can create with sports, a specific WH questions. Do you remember the WH questions? that we practiced yesterday? Who? Who? Um, what? What? Where? 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 What else? Who? Okay, you practice who, where, what, why, why and what else? When? When, right, when? We were also practicing the different uh, sentences with what time, right? We practice also what time. And I think these were all the ones that we practiced yesterday. We were practicing a conversation as well. 
And on this conversation, we were talking about the different sports that the person liked. And he said that he didn't practice the sports, but he only watched them on television. So these are the questions that we were practicing yesterday. And it says, what sports do you play, right? Who do you play with? Where do you play? How often do you practice? When do you practice? What time do you start, right? These were the questions that we were working on. Remember that they have a specific purposes. What is in general? Who is for people? Where is for? What? Place. 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 How often is for? Uh, frequency. Frequency. For frequency. frequency. When frequency. is for? Time. 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 Very good. And what time is for? A specific time. Right, we don't have a, in general, but this is for a specific time. So, based on that one, based on that one, we are going to work a little bit on this conversation or this paragraph, and we are going to base ourselves on the answers that we have. Right, I need you to read the answer first, and then you are going to create the rest of the paragraph. And here we have the first example. I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you watch? And it says, soccer is my favorite because they are asking for something specific. And the next one we have on Sunday afternoons. What type of question do we need? When do you? When do you, right? When do you practice? When do you practice? And here we have, for sure, on the answer on a specific day. When do you, I think I have the you there on the sentence. Let's see. Ah, we only need the yeah. one. When do you usually uh, watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. And it says, at home. What type of question do we need here? Where? Where, right? You need where. Where do you usually watch it? At home, because you are looking for a place, right? And it says, no, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. The next one says, about once a month, what type of question do we need here? Uh, when? It says, about once a month. Alrededor de, ¿qué? Okay, una vez al mes. Often. How often? How often? Because we are looking how for... Often. How often? Because you are looking for a specific frequency. Okay. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Really? Do you go? Usually Where? at about one o'clock. Usually what at time? about what time? what time? Very what time? good. So you say what time? What, what time? time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. Do you usually go with my sister? Who? Who, who do you say who? go with? Who? Who? who do you usually go with? My sister, it says. Come with us next time. So in this case, as you can see here, we have the different questions in the different purposes. When you have when, for example, you have a specific day. Where? A specific place. How often? A frequency. What time? A specific time. And who? You have a person. So for, for conversation number one, I am going to have Luis and Gustavo. For conversation one and for conversation two, we're going to have uh, Mario and Eduardo. Go ahead, conversation one. Okay. I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. And where do you usually watch? What is what? Watch is, it. 
What it at home? Oh, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Very good job. Very good job. Conversation two. How often do you go by riding? Oh, I was uh, once a month. Once a month. Once a month. Continue. I love I love to go bike riding. I go uh, every Sunday. Really, uh, really. Uh, what time do you walk? Usually, at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. Who do you usually go with? My sister. Come with us next time. Very good job. Say, oh yeah. Remember, when you are expressing conversations in English, you have to sound like the expression we have here. Mostly if you are not in front of the person, right? You say like, oh yeah, who do you usually go with? Right? You have to sound interested. Say, my sister. It's also when you say, really? If you say, for example, really? Hmm, really? Say, really? Because you want more information about it. Let's see. Now I am going to ask Hazel and... Let me see. Hazel and... Uh -huh. Jen. <laughs> Salvador. <laughs> Hazel and Salvador. Go ahead. Conversation one. Um, I watch sport on television every weekend. I really watch sport. Do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. My favorite. Favorite. When do you like usually watch soccer? One Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it at home? No. Hey, it? Um, no se oyó. Okay. One <laughs> Sunday after the week. No, no, no. no. The last one. No, at my friend's house. No, no. Y la contestación de él. Okay. <laughs> and where, okay, no. repito. And where do you uh -huh. usually watch it at home? Thank. No, at my friend's house. Sleeping television. He has a really big television. Very good job. The only thing, Mr. Salvador, when you say, eh, and where do you usually watch it? Esa es una pregunta. And where do you usually watch it? One okay. question. The next one. At home? Es como que estamos eh, aclarando la pregunta. When do you usually watch it? At home? Because if you say, when do you usually watch it at home? It's like, not nonsense, right? Okay. Where do you usually okay. watch it? At home? The pronunciation. Favorite, usually, right? Usually. And usually. I think uh, it, it is done. Uh, okay. Am I missing someone? Mr. Mario Saldivar and Teacher Nati. Go ahead, Mario. Conversation two. How often do you go by writing? Oh, about once a month. I love to go by writing. I go every Sunday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? My sister. Come with us next time. Very good job. Excellent, Mario. Very nice reading. Very nice reading. Excellent job. Fantastic. Let's go with the next part. Here, I only have the answers. I need you to create the questions, right? I need one volunteer who has uh, the pen for you to write on the presentation. ¿A quién le sale el lapicito para hacer anotaciones? En la presentación. En Zoom, Zoom tiene un lapicito que sale ahí en la, en la app donde pueden hacer anotaciones. A nadie, casualmente. 
Gustavo, do you have it? Yo creo que sí. Ok, depende. You... <laughs> <laughs> depende <laughs> what, what for. <laughs> no, because, uh, well, today I cannot see anybody. I don't know why. No sé si en mi internet, mi compu, mi aplicación, no sé, pero no veo a nadie. Hoy me veo yo. I cannot see your beautiful faces today. Now I can see Gustavo, good. I cannot see Eduardo, Elmer, Hazel, Luis. I cannot see your cameras. Very good. Thank you very much. You know, I'm working. Uh, I'm working. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Mr. Marvin. No había privado de verlo. Mr. Uh, okay, Elmer is working. Hazel, your camera. Mr. Mario, I cannot see you. And Salvador, I cannot see you. Okay, uh, students, you are going to dictate the sentences to Gustavo, and Gustavo is going to complete them on the presentation. Okay, so I think- I'm going to, to, to write the sentence. You are going to write the sentences. That's why you have the annotation and you have a T uh -huh. for text. Hay una T donde puedes poner texto. No sé si te sale. Yes. Okay, good. Now your friends are going to tell you the sentences, okay? And Gustavo is going to write the answers. You are going to give him the, the answers there. It says, I usually play with my sister and some friends. What is the question that Gustavo has to write? What is the question that Gustavo has to write on the platform? Huh? Who do you play with? Who do you play with? Uh -huh. Okay, write it. Gustavo is going to write the sentences that you dictate. Vamos a ver si se sacan diez o no. Okay, let's see. Hey. Así, no, where are, ¿verdad? Where are you? I don't know. I don't see nothing. I don't see. Where did you write it? ¿Dónde la notaste? Oh, they, there you go. I can I can see it now. Yes, very good. Okay. Very good. Who do you play with? Who do you play? I am going to move it. Don't worry. Okay. Who do you play with? The next one. We practice on Saturdays. What is the question for that one? When do you when do you practice? When do you practice? When do you practice? When do you practice? Very good. When do you practice? What about the next one? Think about the next one so Mr. Gustavo can write it. Uh, we start at about noon. What time? What time? What time what? Do you start? What time do you start? Very good. And the last one, we usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Where do you play? Where, Where do, do you, you play? play? Okay. Where do you play? So, excellent job, Mr. Gustavo. Mm, no <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's okay. It's okay. Where do you play? Fantastic job. Poor Gustavo. All the stress out there. Lo estresaron al pobre Gustavo. Hey, but you have two. <laughs> Where do you play? It's okay. Pusimos una sobre la otra. But it's okay. Who do you play with? In this one, we can use who do you play with or who do you usually play with? You can have the two questions and the two of them are correct. So, if I ask you, what sports do you like, students? I like, I like a lot of sports, sport, but I really love volleyball. 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 The next one. Who do you play with? I usually play with my sisters and some friends. Some friends. And when do you practice? We practice on Saturdays. What time do you start? We start at noon. And where do you play? We usually play at the beach. 
Very good job. Now, uh, welcome to uh, interview with Teacher Nati. Now, in interview with Teacher Nati, we are going to interview Mr. Marvin Cepeda from El Salvador. Thank you, public. El público, el público lo recibe. Thank you. Very nice. The first question for Mr. Marvin. Mr. Marvin, what sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. Really? Do you like volleyball in real life? I mean, give me your real life example. Perdón, no entendí. <laughs> what is your favorite sport? Give me about you, about Marvin. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> welcome to interview with teacher Nati. Today we're going to interview Marvin Cepeda. Welcome, Marvin. <laughs> Good. So tell me, Mr. Marvin, what sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really I love uh, riding my bike. Very good. Who do you usually ride your bike with? Um, I usually play with my friends. When do you practice? We practice on Saturday. Very good. What time do you start? Uh, we start um, at the morning. We start in the morning. And where do you ride your bike? Uh, we usually play in we usually go. We usually go and to the park on the street. And to the skate park. Ah, to the skate park. The Thank skate you park. very much. Thank you, public. Thank you, Marvin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, Marvin is going to interview Mr. Luis Gonzalez. Marvin, <laughs> interview Luis. Okay. Luis, what okay. sport do you like? I like a lot of sports. I really love basketball. Oh. Who do you play with? I usually play with my some friend, my friends. With my friends, very good. <laughs> uh, when do you practice? Uh, I practice on Saturday or uh, Sunday. Very good. Oh. What time do you start? I start about uh, in the morning of the noon. Uh, in the morning or at noon. Good. And where do you play? Where do you play? We usually play in, in, in uh, basketball field. In yeah. the basketball field. <laughs> Very good job. Thank you. Chan, cha, cha, chan, cha, chan. Interviewing with Mr. Marvin. Thank you. Now let's go to interview with Mr. Luis. You are going to interview Gustavo. Uh, Gustavo, what sport do you like? Sorry, I have a problem with my internet. But... Don't worry, don't worry. Uh -huh. Estamos en entrevista uh, con Don Luis. Okay. <laughs> he asked you the question, what sports yeah, yeah. do you like? Okay, I, I like a lot of sport, but I really love running. Or work. Who do you play with? I usually run. run with my with my dog. Do you practice? Uh, we oh. practice all the days in the morning. What time do you start? I don't listen to the, the question. What time, what do, you time start? do you start? Ah, okay, okay. We start about 6 a.m. Where do you play? We usually run in near all of the neighborhood. And around the neighborhood. Ar around the neighborhood and at the park. Very good job. Okay. 
Thank you. Entrevista Thank con Don Luis. Very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent job. So this is a very good way to practice, right? When you ask questions and you replace the information with your own information, right? So in this case, you are not going to tell me, yeah, I pray with my sister. I go, no, you have your own information and you can complete the paragraphs with your own information. I am going to do the last interview. Now, entrevistando a Don Eduardo. What sports do you like, Mr. Eduardo? The microphone. El secreto de la vida nos está dando. <laughs> the microphone, Mr. Eduardo, I cannot listen to you. The microphone. Activa el micrófono. There you go. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> ese, um, ese, es el, ese es el número de la lotería si no lo anotaron, at, perdieron um, <laughs> at the moment uh, uh, I do not practice any sport oh, you don't practice any sport but uh, before what was your favorite sport uh, uh, I like uh, football ok, soccer 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 and who did you usually play in the past? Uh, I usually play um, con, with uh, with um, my sister. With your sister, good. And uh, what days or when did you practice? Uh, we uh, practice on um, Sunday. On Sundays. What time? Um, we start um, at morning. In the morning, right? In the morning. Good. In Very good. Entrevista con Don Eduardo. Very good job. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Eduardo. Thank you for your answers. So, in this case, you can see we can provide extra information on the different topics. Very good. Very good practice for everybody. Thank you, Gustavo, for helping us with the information. Here, we are going to go a little bit in deep with this topic. Do you know what is a talent contest? Do you know what a talent contest is? Any idea? No, no, no idea. No. no idea of what a talent contest is. So imagine that uh, we are going to uh, present to all the group the different talents that you have. It's un concurso de talentos. And it says, oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I cannot enter a talent contest. What can I do? Well, you can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. No, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. If you had the opportunity, my dear students, to present on a talent contest, what would you do? ¿Qué harían si les digo, bueno, mañana tenemos un show de talentos? ¿Qué presentarían? What would you present? Imagine if we have a talent contest tomorrow. What would you do? TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok dances. <laughs> Only challenger. <laughs> uh huh. What What would you do? Think about that one. If we had a talent like, contest tomorrow, huh? Like a draw, draw. So the barman flair. Hey, okay. The 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 barman flair. Yeah. So you will, barman you will flair. You will prepare some drinks. <laughs> good. Very good. Let's see. So in the case of Salvador, he is going to do the barman show. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Elmer. Uh, dibujar, draw. To draw, right? To draw. draw. Good. Yeah. Mr. Luis? 
Draw and paint, maybe. Draw and paint. Good. Hazel? Oi. <laughs> Dance? Dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a talent. It's a talent, definitely. Good. So cooking, cooking, very good. Cooking. cooking. Okay, gracias. Excellent. What what would you present? ¿Qué presentaría de platillo? Lasaña. What? Lasaña. Lasaña. Wow, it would be a very good presentation. Mr. Marvin. Yo no Copió la receta. Yeah, you see. Ya la copió. Uh, yeah, she was there copying eh, eh, the lasaña. Eh, sí. eh, no sé si se dice, pero mimo. Mimicking. Uh, ah, mimicking. Really key. Eh, mimicking. Are you good at that? Oh my God, you see? Hidden talents. Hmm, very good. Uh, but that's difficult. That's difficult because you have to communicate a lot with your body, right? Very good. I can only do the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> the boxes are the only thing that I can do. Imagination. Yes, uh. in, in, there, in there. Mr. Gustavo, <laughs> what will you do in the talent context? Um, cooking too. Cooking. What will you cook? <laughs> wow. um, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> lasagna, <laughs> lasagna with. Pizza. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, tamales. No, cocktail, what cocktail, was cocktail. La poderosa. <laughs> ah, the poderosa burger. <laughs> the yeah. poderosa powerful burger. Powerful burger. The powerful burger. Good, very good. So you will cook. You will cook. <laughs> Mr. Eduardo, what would you do in the talent contest? Um. Um, rabbit in the tomato. Rabbit with tomato. In tomato. In tomato. <laughs> poor rabbit. Oh. <laughs> poor, poor box bunny. A box bunny no le gusta esto. <laughs> Good. Rabbit with tomato. Three chefs. Wow. Let's see. Kayla, what will you do in the talent contest? Miss Kayla? Miss Kayla? Están haciendo de mismo también. Es <laughs> mío. I can hear you. Está cocinando. She's cooking. She's ah, cooking. cooking. That's why. Oh. She's cooking. Okay. Mucho cooking. A lot of cooking. <laughs> okay, it will be dusting, disappearing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> magic, magic! She is going to do a magic okay. trick. Good. <laughs> I think if I if I had to do something in a talent contest, I think I will tell jokes. Yo contaría chistes. A ver, cuente uno. No, no, it's it's, it's prohibited. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what what has what an English a bad English joke? <laughs> a bad English joke. <laughs> there was a, one time there was a 100 feet worm, right? Iba un gusano, un cien pies, a 100 feet worm, and he fell down, and he fell down, and fell down, and fell down, and fell down. One hundred. <laughs> one hundred times. <laughs> He's the pierde amigo. Yeah, en español es mucho más gracioso, right? So like, even 100 pies, y se cayó, 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 et cetera, et cetera. You see, but you laugh, yay! I, I am going to pass for every seat, o sea, por cada uno de sus asientos, pidiendo la madre con la gracia. Good, very good. So, my dear students, let's practice the conversation because we are going to go to a talent contest. All of you have a specific thing that you are going to do in the talent contest, right? So you have your ability and you have what you are going to present. So imagine that you are going to uh, use the talent that you mentioned. So in the talent contest, conversation will be like that. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I cannot enter a talent contest. What can I do? 
And imagine if you are talking with Gustavo, you can say, hey, you can cook really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can do too. No, I can't cook at all, but I can. And if you are talking to me, you say, like, I can tell good jokes. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. So what you are going to do with your partner on the conversation, you are going to replace the abilities, okay? Cuando se vayan a practicar con su compañero, van a reemplazar las habilidades por las que ustedes dijeron que van a presentar, okay? So you say, what can I do? Ah, you can cook really well. You can paint really well. You can sing very well. You can act like a mimic very well, okay? You are going to create a conversation with the abilities that you mentioned, okay? We are going to go to the couples. We're going to work in couples for a couple of minutes. You create the conversation and then you are going to present the conversation for the class. I am going to send you the conversation to the group right now. Give me a second. If you can get a screenshot of it, you can do it too, right? But right now I am going to send it to the group so you can practice. Okay. There you go. There you go. And here we go. Okay. Let's go to work in couples. Practice the conversation with your ability. And when we come back, you are going to present the conversation for the class, okay? So accept my invitation to go to the groups right now. There you go. Remember that you are going to substitute the abilities with the ones that you mentioned. Accept my invitations, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eduardo and Marvin, thank you very much. And thank you, Eduardo, that I am missing you. Okay. So right now, my students are going to create a little conversation based on the abilities that they express. So we are going to go and check what they are doing and how they are doing with the activity. So let's go and visit the different groups. Um, teacher, I'm um, mm -hmm. sharing yes. my screen. <laughs> oh, you're sharing your screen. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay, okay, let me just... Okay, I gave you permission. There you go. Ya, ya tiene permiso. Puede compartir. Okay, gracias, teacher. You. There you go. Okay. I can also well. share mine. Don't worry. Please, there you because go. I. Oh, there you go. I <laughs> Thank okay, you, go ahead, go ahead. Practice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay. Salvador, uh, you first. Okay, no problem. Uh, your your talent. What is? Okay. What is your talent? Uh, it's barman. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah. I I draw draw. draw. Okay. 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 Lo, you lo, start. Lo haríamos, o sea, como seríamos Kaila y Philip, ¿verdad? Exactly yeah. like that. You are going to do exactly the same conversation, but with your talent. Okay. 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 Entonces, el mer, usted o yo primero. Okay. Okay. Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent cons contest. What can I do? Uh, but uh, you can, you are a bad barman. You can, really pre well. you can prepare 
good drinks, you can say. You can prepare uh, good. You can, pre you can prepare good drinks. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Well, do you can too? Oh, no. Oh, I no. Can I can't prepare uh, drinks. Prepare drinks. At all. At all. But, but I, I, can, I can draw. But I can draw. Very good. Very well. Okay. So maybe we can enter the cause. The contest. The contest, perdón. The contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Very good job. Very good job. Practice again. I am going to go and check the other groups. Voy okay, a ver a los otros teacher. grupos y sigo practicando. Sigan practicando. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. 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 Okay. Do you have your conversation? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you practice so I can listen? Okay. And, oh, look. There is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't. Enter a talent contest. What I what can I do? You can draw and paint really well. Oh thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can draw and paint at all, but I can cook a hamburger. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Very good job. I can prepare and you say like, well, but I can prepare a hamburger. You say I can prepare hamburgers, right? Hamburger. In general. Ah, okay. In okay. general. Uh -huh. Very good. Practice again and I'm going to go and check on the next group. Practice. Okay. Enter. Let's enter. Let's enter. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Um, <laughs> ¿Cómo traduciríamos, me dice Hazel, there's a talent contest on Saturday? Yo le decía, eh, el there is como un auxiliar o como un, eh, ahí hay un concurso de talentos. Well, in that case, it's like, uh, in good Spanish, would be like, uh, oh, mira, habrá mm. un concurso de talentos. Habrá. Right? Habrá. In, well, in good Salvadorian, you say, va a haber. <laughs> but it's like habrá, habrá. That's the that's the correct translation, right? If you see a, a one of these things in in El Salvador, it's like mira, va a haber, va a haber un concurso. Un <laughs> but it's incorrect. You say like habrá un concurso de talentos el sábado. Entremos, right? Entremos al concurso. Let's enter. It's entremos para el concurso, right? The next one. I can't enter a talent contest. It's like, no, yo no me puedo meter un concurso. ¿Qué, qué puedo hacer, right? Voy a hacer? Ah, you can sing very well. Puedes cantar bien chido. No, oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Ay, vos también, you say. And in this one, it says like, oh, no, I can't sing at all. It's like, no, yo no puedo cantar para nada. But I can play the piano. It's like, pero puedo tocar el piano, right? And it says, eh, so maybe we can enter the contest. Like, bueno, sí, creo que podemos entrar. Sure, why not? ¿Por qué no? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. In this one, what you need to do is to transform it with your abilities. Okay, ¿ya le pusieron sus habilidades? Sí, vamos. Ya lo hicimos en ambos casos. Sí. Okay, now let's practice them. Oh, estábamos discutiendo el, el, como el nuevo vocabulario. Okay, good. So I need to listen. Practice, please. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can cooking. You can cook. You can cook. Oh, oh thanks. What you can do? Oh, no, I can cook. Just, just full the pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe we can enter the context. Sure, why not? Why not? Okay, let's Yummy. go back to the main room. <laughs> Very good. 
Ah. He's like, shh, get in the teacher. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, we're back. Very good job, my dear students on the different groups. I was listening to all of you there. So, Elmer en Salvador. Action! Mr. Elmer en Salvador. Okay. Okay. Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. We can't. What can I do? You can prepare a good drink. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can prepare good drinks, but I can draw very well. So maybe we can enter the contest? Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, very good conversation. Very good job, my dear students. Gustavo, you, go ahead and company. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can draw and paint really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can draw. I can draw and paint, but I can cook hamburger, the poderosa hamburger. <laughs> so maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, let's practice tomorrow. Very good job, you did it La excellent. La Poderosa Hamburguesa. La Poderosa, La Poderosa. I think it, it's going to be famous from now on, right? Cada vez que se coman una hamburguesa se van a acordar de mí. Dice, hey, La Poderosa. La, la Poderosa. <laughs> okay, Hazel and Mario, go ahead. Oh, look, there's a talent context on Saturday. Let's enter. I, I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can cook really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too? Oh, no. I can cook at all. But I can cook pizza. So Only maybe... pizza. <laughs> Only pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> very excellent job, right? Very excellent. Uh, the conversation was very nice. A clap for my students. Mr. Hi. Eduardo Hi. and company. Okay. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday, let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can see, you can rub it uh, with tomato really well. Oh, thanks. Wait, well, you can too? Oh, no, I can't rub it with I, tomato. I uh, can't. I can cook rabbit in tomato at all, but can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. So we're not. Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Very good job, right? <laughs> Poor rabbit with tomato, right? <laughs> <laughs> Poor rabbit with uh, here. Here Pobre I can Bugs see. Bunnies. Yeah, poor Bugs Bunny. Well, if you are going to cook the <laughs> the bad one, yeah, that's okay. But the poor Bugs Bunny, right? That's okay. Thank you very much, my dear students. It was a very nice way to practice, right? Far from being here, it's a way to expose you to go and talk, right? Más allá de practicar el inglés es exponerlos un ratito más a que ustedes ahí, ay, me da pena y todo, pero I do it, right? And it is very beneficial for all of you because 
it takes you the fear of, I cannot do it, teacher. Yes, you can. You can do whatever you set your mind to. So in this one, if I ask you, and uh, can is one of the easiest topics in English. Why? Because it doesn't change at all, right? It doesn't change on subject. It doesn't change on position, right? It's the same for all the things for I, you, he, she, it, we, they. You use it in the same form. So can is the friendliest topic in English, right? I think can and going to are the easiest topics in English because you don't change anything. You just have to be careful with the pronunciation of affirmative and negative because you say, I can sing very well. It's like, no, I can't sing very well, right? You have to mark the sound at the end for you to make the negative form. Because if it is difficult for you to make the can't sound, the t -t 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 can't, you can say, I cannot. But it's not really common. You say, no, I can't do it. Can you practice with me? I can't. I can't. I can't. Right, you have to mark the t at the end. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay. Can't. If we practice these ones that we have here, here, how do you pronounce this one? I can sing. I can sing. I can, I can, sing. Sing. I can, I can sing. sing. And this one? I can, I can, I can sing. sing. Okay, and you mark it. Right, say I can sing. I can't sing. Right? I can't sing. I can't sing. I can't. Because you specify that you cannot do something. It is very common in English that you say like, yeah, I can sing. And you nod your head, right? Hacemos el movimiento de la cabeza. Yeah, I can sing. No, I can't sing. You accompany the body language with the actual English language for you to communicate more. But what happens when you cannot see the person? So like, I can't sing, huh? I can't sing, I can't sing. And you know, because even when you cannot see the person, you listen to the pronunciation, right? If I say, for example, um, tell me if it is affirmative or negative. I can sing. Negative. Absolutely. I can sing. Affirmative. 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 I can't act. Uh, negative. 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 I can't swim. Negative. 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 Very good. If you see my face, you are going to know, right? Because I say, I can't swim, right? But you can see the sound at the end, right? Por eso le está por la cámara. I can swim. <laughs> Affirmative. 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 I can dance. I can't act. Negative. 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 Very good job. So that's for you to train your ear, right? Teacher, no la miro. It's it's an exercise. <laughs> so how do you pronounce this one? I cannot. I can act. I can act, right? This one. I can't, I can't dance. dance. And this one? I, I can't swim. This one? I, I can swim. I can swim. swim. What about this one? I can't, I can't, I can't, can't sing. 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 This one? I, I, I can't, can't, I can't, act. can't act. The next one? I, I can, can dance. 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 The first one? I can, I can sing. sing. Okay. Uh, Mr. Elmer Rivera, read number two, affirmative and negative. We need to listen to the difference. Okay, I can act and I can't act. Act. Aquí va el sonido de la T en, la, en los dos casos. Es un poco más complicado, right? I can act and I can't act. Yeah. Good. Number three, Marvin, affirmative and negative. I can dance. I can't dance. Very good. Gustavo, number four, affirmative and negative. I can swim. I can't swim. Very good. Eduardo, number one, affirmative and negative. I can't 
I can't sing. I can't sing. Very good. Luis, number two, affirmative and negative. I can't act. Okay. I can't act. Very good. Hazel, number three, affirmative and negative. I can I can't dance. I can dance and I can't dance. Good, very good. Mr. Mario, number three. I can dance, I can't dance. Okay, Salvador, number four. I can't swim, I can't swim. Very good job. So you have to mark the difference, right? You have to mark the difference for you to understand, right? For you to understand if you are saying something affirmative or something negative. In the case of the grammar of can and can't, it's very, very familiar and it's very friendly because you don't change much, right? You don't change much on the sentences. You use the subject, can or can't, the ability, and you can add something extra, right? Very well, uh, excellent. Uh, very fluent, for example, if you say, I can speak English very fluent, right? I can sing very well. I can sing beautifully, right? For the questions, you have the ability, then you have the subject. Sorry, you have the auxiliary can or can. And here you have the subject and the ability at the end. For the answers, yes, I can. Yes, he can. Or no, no, she can, no chicken, no, she can't, <laughs> no, she can't, no, she can't. You have to be very careful. No, she can, no, no, she can't. No, she she can. Can. no chicken. No, we can, right? And it says, uh, teacher, what, huh? Uh, what is the difference with uh, can or may? Okay, can is specifically for abilities and talents, and may okay. is for permissions. Okay. It is the same meaning, because it, if you say, for example, uh, may I, okay, may I ask you something? Something, okay. It's like, may I ask you something? ¿Le puedo preguntar algo? This is for okay. permission, when you are looking for permission. Or you say like, okay. may I go to the restroom? Puedo ir al baño. And you okay. can say, can I go to the restroom? And it's correct. But the best thing is may. Porque si me dice, can I go to the restroom? Yes, you can. I think you have the ability. <laughs> <Right>? You can walk. <laughs> you can walk. I mean, you can do it. But if I say, may I ask you something? ¿Puedo preguntarle algo? ¿Puedo ir al baño? Okay. ¿Puedo contestar la llamada? May I answer the phone call? Yes, but this is for permission. This is mostly for being polite, right? Una manera bien polite de preguntar si puede o no puede hacer algo. But okay. the meaning is the same. But you say, you cannot say, I may dance. Yo mm -hmm. podría bailar. Yes, you, you yes. can if you want, right? But if you want to express the ability, you say, I can dance. Okay. okay, that's the difference. Good okay. question. Very good question. Now, uh, for these ones, I can say, for example, in the class, in the class, who can swim? And you say, I can. I can. I can. I can. I can, I can. I can swim. And if you don't know or if you cannot do something, say, no, teacher, I can't. Who can swim? I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. Who can dance? I can. I can. I no, can. teacher, I don't. I can. I can. I can. I can. Ese ese ejemplo es el que yo quería. I don't can. Two feet left. I don't can. I don't can. Es una es un atropello al idioma. <laughs> y sucede, sucede un montón. We say, no, I don't can. Yo no, yo puedo, no, no. No, no quiero. <laughs> yo no, no puedo, right? Mm. I can't. Okay. <laughs> you are a robot, they say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who can, who can use the computer very well? I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. 
Who can create TikToks? I can I can check them, but I can't. <laughs> okay. Who can, can. who I can, can, can edit pictures? I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. Who can who can mix music? I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. Who can drive a car? I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. Who can fish? Pescar. I can. Who can fish? I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can eat the fish, but I can't. <laughs> I can catch it. Tell me, who can uh, play the guitar? I can. I can. I can. I can. I can touch the guitar, but I cannot play. <laughs> Tell me, who can take pictures? I can. I can. I can. It's like, take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> and the pictures that they take are very beautiful. Tell me, who can ride a horse? I, I can. can. I can. I can. Barbie can ride a horse. I can't ride I can. a horse. Now, before you go and for us to finish the class, I need you to ask me a question. Teacher, can you? And you ask me any question. Go ahead. Teacher, can you sing? Yes, I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my shampoo. Teacher. My shampoo says. <laughs> uh -huh. Can you dance? Yes, I can. Okay. Can you eat? For sure. <laughs> that's that's a that's an ability. <laughs> that's a talent <laughs> that we have. <laughs> yeah. Okay, another question. Teacher, can you? Teacher, can you speak the other language? I can speak French a little bit, English and Spanish. And now what? And Kazaka too. <laughs> Good, yes. Listen to now what? Caliche. Caliche. Uh -huh. Caliche. I think Salvadorians can speak Caliche very well. <laughs> okay, question. Another question. Okay. Question, question, question. Oh, before we finish, one more question. Mm -hmm. Teacher, can, can you? you teacher, can you cook? Can you cook? Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I can. Mi esposo era flaco. That says, and now, now he's chubby, right? <laughs> I can cook very well. Yeah, lo engordo okay. para que no lo mire. Strategy. Strategy. <laughs> The strategy. That's the strategy of all the ladies. It's like, si dicen ustedes, yo era flaco, es la estrategia. Así a nadie se lo roba. <laughs> well, my dear students, thank you very much. I am going to see you on Monday for the next class. Please finish working on the platform, okay? Finish working on the platform. Okay. Finish all the exercises that we have there. And on Monday, we're going to check the progress, okay? Have okay. a beautiful okay. night. Oh, if you finish, download finish. your certificate. Descarguen okay. su certificado, okay? okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye. I'm going to bye see bye. you on Monday for the next class. Have okay. a beautiful bye weekend. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye.